Winter is coming. <laughs> <laughs> Although it got here early in, in Milwaukee, boy, with all that snow today. Well, it seemed like yeah. potentially the NBA MVP here wow. in the same city. I mean, we thought we'd see all season, and even though Toronto did get beat in that first game, I, I early in both of these series, but yeah. it's going to be an interesting run through the Eastern Conference playoffs. No doubt about it. And, you know, some of these younger teams phenomenal today just really dominated that game for the Blazers. It's going to be an awesome series to watch down the stretch. But the landscape in the East has changed so dramatically with, of course, LeBron James' departure to the Lakers out West. First time we'll see a team from the East not led by LeBron James go to the NBA Finals as Sterling Brown hits from deep. They will add to that number tonight and then some. But, uh, Greg, they have thrown down the gauntlet to the rest of the team, certainly in the East and the entire NBA. That is Connaughton. Tonight for Detroit. He's got 18 points. Dribble drive, beautiful finish. They're in Milwaukee. I tell you what, though, no, it's been one heck of a Sunday. Unbelievable. This game hasn't been as good, but we had a couple good ones. Jose Calderon checks in for Detroit. John Lure in also for the first time. This is a little floater. It's Heath. And I tell you, Budenholzer is trying to get him some minutes just to get the rhythm and the timing back. And Craig was able to get all the way inside and on the road and shocking that Toronto Raptors fan base. What a job by Steve Clifford. We'll see them putting a perfect exclamation. 15 points in Milwaukee tonight. They, they played that well on both ends of the floor. It's what I call a zone game where just everything was going for them. 35. 